Yes, RCW9A. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a little golden this morning. Let's see if I can adjust the light. Oh, there you go. <laughs> 0 0.56.020 theft means to wrongfully obtain or exert unauthorized control over the property or services of another <laughs> or the value thereof with the intent to deprive him or her of such property or services <laughs> now when you really look at the definition of theft yes let's say i informed the law enforcement <laughs> of forgery and fraud yes deception and conspiracy yes and they said, no, the guy's crazy. Poach, I would say that the services of lawful uh, police departments, yes, have been thefted, <laughs> taken from me. <laughs> now, theft means to wrongfully obtain or exert a unauthorized control over the property or services of another of the, or, or the value thereof. <laughs> With the intent to deprive me of police services, sheriff services, right now. <laughs> Uh, the services, the honest services of those in law enforcement. <laughs> now, by color or aid of deception to obtain control over the property or services of another of the value thereof with the intent to deprive him or her of, the pro of such property or services. <laughs> now, when I went to jail, yes, 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 I had approximately $5.35. <laughs> When I got out of jail, I had no money. Pooch. I would say that's theft. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pro theft in the first degree, a person's gift of theft in the first degree is he or she commits theft of property or service exceedingly $5,000. <laughs> Class B felony. Poop. Now, let's say I was to sue each and every police department for depriving me of the policing services of those that are legally liable for the enforcement of the law. <laughs> I'd consider your policing services of value greater than $5,000. Yes, he would. <laughs> now, I'm thinking I'm suing you for theft today. Theft in the first fucking degree, that's right. <laughs> now, you arrested me for theft in the second degree. Oh, it's theft in the second degree. Oh, <laughs> Uh, a person is guilty of theft in the second degree if he or she commits theft of property or services which exceeds $750, <laughs> but does not exceed $5,000 in value, <laughs> other than a firearm as defined in RCW 9.41.010 or a motor vehicle. <laughs> A public record, writing, or instrument kept, filed, or deposited according to law with or in the keeping of any public office or public servant. <laughs> now, these uh, instruments, yes, known as court decrees, <laughs> public office or public servant, <laughs> the ex-official superior court clerk that decided that her and her twin were both going to be employees of county county. I think that you have deposited, according to the deceptions of law, a public office and a public servant, yes, an instrument issued by the court, <laughs> that has exceeded actually $5,000. <coughs> now, when you think of the number of times I've been arrested for the allegation of violating the restraint provisions, <coughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say the dissolution of marriage worth more than five thousand dollars. <laughs> yes, would, yes, you would. Now, a public record, writing, or instrument kept, filed, or deposited according to the law, with or in the keeping of any public office, or public servant. <laughs> now, let's go through it, Sheriff. <laughs> I think that I can actually sue you for the theft of taking all of my assets, my sons, and uh, deciding that I was going to pay child support in the amount of $180,000 without any due process. <coughs> so that it's actual theft of my assets. <coughs> well, that's a Class B felony. Okay, okay. <laughs> now, I know when I sue you for the criminal behavior of issuing a dissolution of <laughs> everything.